Welcome back into Studio 814. Time for some 814 Eats. We hope you came hungry because Sean Knight is here from this Bay & Berry. This is a fun recipe. This, oh. is, this is one of the things, the weather's been cold this week and you just want to kind of stay home still. It's not quite spring. Uh, this is a great stay-at-home meal. It is. It's fantastic. What is this? I mean, we know shrimp, okay? Yeah, so we're going to do a shrimp carbonara today, which is really tasty. Um, we're going to do one alternative version of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so for Lent, if you want to just stick with the shrimp, you can stick with the shrimp. Okay. We're going to actually add prosciutto in it today as well because oh, it's Wednesday. Say, we're okay. Uh, but on Friday, just keep the prosciutto out, keep the shrimp in. You're ready to roll. Man, it looks so good. Okay, so we have all the little things that we need here. Some fresh pasta too. Yes. Um, from yeah, Fosta. Fosta Pasta yes. out of Pleasant Gap. So we sell it at our store and we'd like to support as much local as we can. And we have a lot of their raviolis and a lot of their fresh dried pastas as well. And, and so we thought we'd use those today, which works really well with this recipe. It does. A, a lot of pasta and seafood comes together super nicely. It does. It makes a really nice meal and it's simple again. So my idea every time is simplicity. Yes. Right? Keep it simple. Make it easy, but make it tasty. So, and so this delicious. is what we're going to do today. Okay, how do we get started? All right, so we're going to do a few things here. Uh, so we have some pasta water going. Okay. We have a pan for our shrimp. Mm -hmm. Then we also have one for our carbonara sauce. All right. So we're going to start with our shrimp first. Okay. So we're going to go this ahead. Here. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and add uh, some onion. So we'll add a little onion in there. Nice and hot. This is where the get smell the just come together. I know. I could smell it all throughout the studio, even walking down that garlic. Our prior guests, when I was making it earlier, mm. they walked in and said, oh, what's that smell? It's always that onion and garlic that just smells so wonderful. Well, and everybody has to hang around, you know, just to get a little taste. Well, we've always done. offered to stick around afterwards. There's plenty to eat. You so, feed us well. Well, we're going to take care of you, that's for sure. Yummy. So we have some onions and uh, garlic going in there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and throw our shrimp in also. All right, you ready for that? Sure, yeah. We're using a 1620 tiger tail shrimp here. So we have sell a bunch of different varieties. Okay. We also have a larger one if you want to. Oh, that's yeah. A, that's man. an 810 size shrimp. So Look if you want a those. really big one, you can really jump up to a bigger size. And of course, we have smaller ones as well. But this is our standards, the 610 or 1620, which is a tiger tail. It's really nice shrimp. Those Good are really size big. and meaty. But if you want to amp it up, you have the option of going a really big. All right. So the uh, shrimp's going in here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let that sit. It's about three minutes on each side. So you're going to start seeing them turn pink. Okay. So we'll just let that all just be happy together there. I'll do its Perfect. thing. Uh, so for our sauce, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, throw some cream in first. Okay. We have a nice little cream container. <laughs> you know, isn't that fun? Isn't right that in here? Right in there, yep. All righty. Oh. There yes. you go. Okay. So that's with an olive oil and cream mixture. Then we're going to go ahead and add some sea salt and pepper. Little pinch or? Uh, throw whatever you like. A couple pinches really? of salt. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. There you go. Let's do that. And a couple pinches of pepper. Oh, I love pepper. That's a nice kicker. Make it sing. Okay. The other option, if you feel like a little spice, you can also do red pepper flakes in this. Okay. But we're not doing it today, but you could do that. All right. Uh, we're going to do some egg yolks as well. Yes. There you go. And this is a binding agent and thickener. So okay. as you start uh, getting this all together here, you're going to go ahead and incorporate. Just go ahead and mix it up. So you can it see it's starting together. to thick already. Yes. But it's not the magic thickener. It's, it's the preview to what you're going to get. Okay. And that's going to be your Parmesan cheese as well. Ooh. So we're going to do some shredded Parmesan this in there. Here. All of it. Just throw it all in. Okay. You'll see it tighten up really quick. There yeah, you, you go. gotta have the cheese. All right. Cheese is fantastic. And we'll also take the pasta there as well when you're ready. Right in the yep, water. That's going right in the water. Yep. Sure. Pop that in. Yep. Okay. Whichever way. Yep. And this is, a, this is a fresh dried pasta. So again, this is not a standard out of the box pasta. It's about five to six minutes at max. Okay. If you, you don't want to overcook it. Right. So that it all sit in there and be happy. And that's the great thing. And you've talked about this too, is just how many of those local businesses that you feature in your, in your business. Yeah, we're, I mean, between the local businesses and, and the State College Center County area, we have probably 20. And then also our small businesses from Maine, which are literally mom and pops. So it's literally mom and dad and probably some kids working at the store. We do about another 45 businesses there as well. So we really do support a lot of local entities around town. Yeah, that's wonderful. And I love too that, I mean, you're the one that's physically going to Maine to pick up a lot of this seafood I'm that you sell. I'm there every five weeks. So we do uh, certain seafoods from the state of Maine that's in season. And then the so scallop season just finished up. And then we also bring back a lot of products, a lot of soups that we sell there are from uh, just north of Freeport, Maine, mm -hmm. and uh, they're we, this one of our biggest sellers, gluten-free as well, which okay. is nice for those who have gluten issues, and it works really, really well together. And we just bring uh, a and the blueberry pies. We do a lot of pies from Two Fat Cats Bakery, to rate one of the best pies in the country, 
and we bring those back frozen unbaked. So you just take them home and then you pop in your oven and you're ready to go. Oh. Makes parties really good. From start to finish. It works I mean, out really well. You can yeah. do a lot. Yeah. 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 Break for parties. That's perfect. Yeah. So as the shrimp's cooking, we're going to go ahead and add our prosciutto into the shrimp. So you're going to oh, start getting the that. fats that are going to render down with mm -hmm. the shrimp. And it's going to work together really, really well. So that'll go in there also. This is very simple. This I mean, in the matter of this TV segment, we're going to have a, a nice minutes, meal right you're there. You're going to have a nice meal ready to roll. Absolutely. How great Absolutely. is that? Absolutely. Okay. All right. So that's going to keep working a little bit there. Okay. Pasta's almost ready to go. And you just, I mean, you come up with the most amazing different ideas. And people can try some different warm dishes, too, because where you're located in State College is really unique with Voodoo Brewing. Yeah, so we actually uh, work with Voodoo Brewery. They have a lower level of our building now. Uh, that's where actually where we started our business, a small side of that building. And, and fortunately, we've grown to a really nice size. And so we rent out that piece down to them. And they do a lot of their, their favorite beers and brews that are especially out of Meadville, mm -hmm. bring them in. And then they pair a lot with our foods. Yeah, we're doing uh, St. Patrick's Day specials this week. Oh, are yeah, you? Yeah, we're going to do some corn, uh, some corned beef and uh, some other specials on Friday and Saturday. And we kind of try to rotate the menu as much I as we can. I love that idea. And of course, when it gets warmer, you can sit outside next to the, yes. the stream. Yeah, sit by the stream. And we have probably seating for 100 people out there. We have decks. It's dog friendly as well. And it's not like a college town where you think it's all just college kids. Yeah. It's a nice mix of college kids and families and kids. But it's not a playground either. It's just a really nice place to yeah. hang out. Because it's more towards, I guess, Lamont. So it's not really downtown. Yeah, we're about a mile away. So yeah. So it's, you're it's, not going to have it's the, beautiful. the it's crazy really nice. scene. But it is a very nice place. Yeah, we enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to take a bite yes. here. We got the finished Absolutely. product. Let's see. I'm going to dig right in. This looks so Don't so be bashful. Good. It's good. Okay. And, uh, not Sean, she ever been. I know. Sean, can you tell us where we can find you? Yeah, we're located at 201 Elmo Street in State College, Pennsylvania. Check us out on Facebook. We're very active on social media. And uh, we post specials. We have a special this week on Friday mm. for COD, 15% off on a Lenten mm. special. And um, check us out. We do, we do a lot of posting on there. Mm. That's so good. It's Not really bad, huh? tasty. Not bad. I love a good carbonaro. Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. We've got all the details right yes. there on your screen of how you can reach out to Main Bait and Barry. All right, Sean. Thank, thank you, you so Morgan. Much. So good to see you. We'll see you next week. Yes, and we'll be right all back right. after a quick commercial break.